point of view it is another important topic apparently uh, for a student it is not at all very important but sometime if you are weak enough so you cannot understand what does it mean so let's check what does it mean point of view point of view definition in english the point of view is the narrator's position or perspective through which the story is being communicated an author's point of view tells the reader who the person is experiencing the event or the topic of the writing how to identify point of view it's very important identifying a point of view in a writer's work can sometimes be challenging the best way to find the point of view is to skip the dialogue go to the narration and look at the pronouns used in the narrative and that is the most important clue for you rather than to focus on dialogue you need to focus at the pronouns i me my mine myself we our ourselves ourselves these all are basically first person then you your yours yourself second person uh she her hers herself he him his himself they them themselves their theirs third person uh, it's just a quick review because without recalling or without knowing persons for second third person in pronouns we cannot identify the point of view the author chooses a point of view to relate the story as if you were experiencing it to force you into the story or to allow the author to show different point of views in writing the first person point of view uses the pronouns i me we and us first person in order to tell a story from the narrator's perspective and most of the time we call it or usually we call it narrative writing the storyteller in a first person narrative is either the protagonist relaying their experiences or a peripheral character telling the protagonist's story this is basically first person and first person you just need to focus on first person point of view that is i me my we our ourselves us etc examples of sentences written from the first person point of view i was only 7 years old when my family moved to the united states i here this i is what i and my are the example of first person point of view we took a vacation that allowed us to explore our nation from east to west and north to south we us our again the example of first person plural my friend and i finally relaxed once we got to the beach and waded into the ocean my i v what are these the examples of first person so overall when you use first person pronoun it means you are talking about first person point of view reason to write the first person point of view gives a story credibility first person point of view builds a rapport with the readers by sharing a personal story directly with them bringing the reader in close like this makes a story and story teller credible like in if we take the example of from the opening lines of the herman melville's epic sea tale moby dick it's a very famous the reader is on a first person first name basis with the narrator call me ashmail expresses an opinion when we talk about first person's point of view it also expresses an opinion a narrator tells a story through a lens filtered by their opinion in the first person point of view the use of the pronoun i establishes a sense of familiarity between reader and narrator builds intrigue first person perspective limits a reader's access to information they only know and experience what the narrator does this is an effective tool for creating suspense and building intrigue in stories particularly in thrillers or mysteries 
Now we are moving towards the second person's point of view, POV. In literature, second person point of view breaks the fourth wall by directly and address by directly addressing the reader with the pronoun you. It goes a step further by creating an interactive literary experience bringing the reader into the story. Second person point of view uses the pronoun you to address the reader. This narrative voice implies that the reader is either the protagonist or a character in the story and the events are happening to them. So when we talk about in very simple or you can say the bottom line is when you talk about second person pronoun, it means you're talking about you, your, yours. How do you use second person point of view? Second person point of view is often used in nonfiction like self-help books, immersive mediums like video games, advertising slogan which aim to sell a um, good or service. Song lyrics which connect with the listeners by placing him or her directly into the narrative. Although the second person is a less common choice for fiction writing, when done well, it can give a story a unique and powerful perspective. Famous second person uh, examples, or we sometimes call it POV. There are a few years when you make almost all of your important memories and then you spend the next few decades reliving them. Now, what is it? You. This you is the indicator of second person. And you know the darkness beyond despair just as intimately as you know the soaring heights because in this and all universes, there is balance. You continuously you focus here mostly, except once uh, it is used. Otherwise, continuously you as a pronoun is used. So it's a very good example of second person narrative. Third person point of view. The he said, she said narrative. He said, she said, they said. This is what? This is third person's point of view. Third person point of view is narrative style in which the narrator refers to all characters using the pronouns he, she, or they. An example of a sentence written in third person would be she sat in the cafe waiting for her food to arrive. What is taking so long? She thought she, her, she. What is this third person's point of view? Let's check the examples. An example of a sentence written in third person would be, we have already discussed that third person point of view is by far the most common method of storytelling and has been the view point of choice for some of the best known stories in English language. Like here is the opening from the Jane Austen's Pride and Prejudice, a novel famously written from a third person point of view. And there is one most important thing. When we talk about academic writing, when we talk about research writing, from these two perspectives, third person point of view is the most important one because it is considered the unbiased style of writing where you do not show yourself. So that's why third person is a very important point of view from academic and research writing point of view. What is first and third person point of view? The greatest distinction between second, first and third point of view is that the first and third person do not utilize the pronoun you uh, to address the audience. First person point of view occurs when the narrator is a character in the plot itself. They are speaking of their own experiences, telling the story as it happens to them. This point of view uses the pronoun I. And we call it narrative style. Third person point of view happens when the narrator is not a player in the plot itself, but rather an anonymous observer to the story who either has unlimited or limited access to the thoughts and feelings of all the characters. Now, if we take um, or if we want to understand 
point of view, in simple, if we focus this chart in our mind, it will be very easy for us that for first person's point of view, we will always observe I, we, our, us, like my mind. On the other hand, when you talk about second person's point of view, you, your, yours, yourself, etc. Third person, he, she, they, him, her, hers. These are the basically third person, third person pronouns. So, of course, then it is considered the third person's point of view. That's all from my side. And hopefully, this topic of point of view would be clear to you. Thank you. Thank you for watching the video.